Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, step right up to see the most amazing feat of mind over matter, pain, tolerance, and death defiance you shall ever see on this earth. Step right up to see 20 solid inches of solid stainless steel down the hatch without a scratch, folks. Sword swallowing. I'm talking about sword swallowing. You'll be amazed, you'll be astounded, you'll tell all your friends about it, folks. You gotta come in close to see the seven minute sideshow. We got a little bit of a crowd coming up. I bet you we could get more people in here. I'll track more with a little demonstration of sideshow. My name is Cyrus Penn. I am a sideshow artist. Sideshow arts require three things, folks. Guts, skill, and a whole lot of stupidity. Sometimes that last one more than the others. I shall demonstrate with this. A common mouse trap. Tell me folks, what is a mouse trap good for? Killing mice. Killing mice. Killing mice is good. I would say punishing mice. Punish. And what does it punish? Curiosity. It punishes them with a little snap. And, and folks, I've been very curious as of late. What I've been curious about is if the tongue is indeed the strongest muscle in the human body. Don't do it. Oh, don't do it. Oh. But before I do, I like to tell all you folks that everything I do is 100% real. There's no magic, there's no illusions, no tricks. I'm a trained professional. So do not try this at home. Also, because all this is 100% real, this hurts a lot. So you're all going to have to help me out with this one. I'm going to need you all to count to three really loudly for two reasons. One, the louder you do it, the less likely you're going to hear me scream. And two, the louder you do it, everybody else not watching is going to wonder what the heck is going on over here. So let's hear one really loud. Okay, that was all right. It's a little on the quiet end. I mean, we got some good vibes over here, but I need more. I need everybody really loud, just like at a Virginia Tech football game. Getting really pumped up. So I can really ignore how painful this feels. All right, folks, get start one, episode three. Let's hear it. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> 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 Yes, the tongue is indeed the strongest muscle in the human body. Now everybody repeat after me. Sword swallowing show. Yay! That's good. <laughs> Thank you. All right, folks, you asked for it. Sword swallowing show. Let's get to the real stuff. Sword swallowing is an ancient art dating back to thousands of years. It is a demonstration of mind over matter in which one takes a sword such as this, puts it in their mouth, and slides it down their throat all the way to their stomach so close that the slightest little push would kill the performer. Now folks, remember, I'm a trained professional and I can take this sword and put it down the hatch without a scratch. when you try a sword with a slight curve to it, such as this Wakazashi. Use those swords are whips. 
because this can, this can be done, folks. So right now, I would like to choose someone out of this audience to come up and give me a hand with this. A very, very once-in-a-lifetime chance is also a great Facebook profile picture. Preferably adult, preferably sober. How about you, sir? Yeah, come right up, sir. What's your name, sir? Bob Zachary. Zachary. Everybody say hello, Zachary. Thank you, folks, for doing the accent. That makes me very happy. Well, Zachary, here's what's going to happen. You're going to get a first-hand experience at sword swallowing. Oh, All right, lean your head back. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I said first-hand experience, which means I'm going to swallow this sword, and I'm going to take a bow to you, and with your first hand, you're going to grasp it firmly by the handle and gently and swiftly slide it out of my gullet. Yeah? Okay. You seem a little nervous. A little bit. Maybe a lot of bit nervous. Yeah. Well, I, don't be too nervous, because remember these two things. One, every single person in this audience has complete faith in you. And they're going to show it with a round of applause right now. You got it. Okay, at least some of them do. More than enough. I have faith in you. The other thing to remember, only pull. Don't push, don't twist, don't wiggle. Okay. If that happens, Zachary, we are not going to be friends anymore. <laughs> All right, folks, moment of truth for me, moment of truth for Zachary. Everybody give a big round of applause for Zachary! Thank you very much, Zachary. Before you go, want to smell it? Yep. That, that. That's my breakfast. Yeah. One more big round of applause for Zachary as he returns to his spot. Because that's true bravery, folks. Thank you very much, folks, for coming up and seeing the show. I have one more stunt for you. Before I do that, thank you, buddy. Good timing. Before I do that, I'd like to let you all know that I do do this professionally. I am a professional sword swallower. Obviously, the better my show, the more donations I get. So if you could rate my show from 1 to 100 after this stunt, please place your donation in the bucket. That being said, to earn these donations, I'm going to swallow two swords at the same time. Slightly more dangerous than swallowing one sword is because these swords can scissor at any given moment, slicing me up from the inside out. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Here we go, folks. Two solid steel swords at the same time. Sword Swallowing Sideshow. Please place your rating into the bucket. <laughs>